massive. The developers of The Division are currently on holiday, but they will be back next week and obviously they will have their work cut out for them. There is no state of the game this week, nor has there been one last week or the week before that. It will return next week and I'm sure we'll get a full update from Hamish and Yannick and the rest of the crew then. But uh, what I wanted to do this week is I wanted to just put forward a bit of a summary for the kind of... Um, the most common ideas or frustrations or suggestions that I've seen coming through from both my own comment section and from Reddit over the last three weeks and present that to the massive guys so at least they have that as a bit of a consolidated list. Now, I want to be super clear about this. I'm absolutely not speaking for the community as I compile this list. I would never claim to speak for the community. Anyone who claims that is a fool. The community is full of a variety of voices and I'm only one of those. Um, my perspective comes from reading through literally hundreds or I'd actually say thousands of comments that I receive on my videos uh, because I actually do read every single comment that you post um, and also from Reddit where I sort of I go to Reddit about 15 times a day I'm sort of a bit addicted to Reddit and so I feel like I'm actually pretty close to the uh, the pulse of the game so to speak and the major issues that uh, that are affecting it so I kind of just wanted to put together a bit of a list of what those are I'm not going to pass judgment on those things I'm not going to provide solutions I'm just going to say hey these are the things that the community are talking about and I think it would be really good if Massive could speak to us about those things when they get back. I know that they've already started speaking to us about some of these things, but not all of them. And I think that uh, certainly in their absence, uh, these things have become really big priorities that uh, people I think want to hear more about. And I think it would be good if we could have that kind of dialogue between, you know, Massive and the community as a whole. So let's get stuck into it. Number one, by far and away, the number one biggest concern that people have right now, the biggest frustration is the tuning of NPC health and damage. I don't think anyone would disagree with me right Right now if I was to say that uh, enemies have way way too much health and they deal way way too much damage and we are essentially um, we feel completely powerless against them especially in DZ6 where you know you're very often not running with a four-man group you'd like to be able to do a bit of farming and you can't do it because you're just pushed out by the sheer number of, of hit points that the enemies have and how much damage they deal and obviously things like smart cover and pulse help mitigate those but they are complicated uh, balancing mechanisms in and of themselves. But regardless, everyone I think agrees that there needs to be a rebalancing and retuning of uh, NPC health and damage. We'd be really interested to hear how that's going to work going forward. Number two is the prevalence of shotguns in the dark zone, especially when it's coupled with uh, the Century's Call gear set. Uh, a lot of people are expressing frustration that, uh, you know, they're just constantly getting one shot by shotgunners. People just walking up to them, shooting them in the face once and dropping them, or perhaps two shotting them if they're using Century's Call. This is particularly toxic in group settings because all you need to do is uh, basically have someone in your group tap someone in the head with a shotgun, even from really far away. And so long as one of their pellets land, then you've got to stack on that target and it makes it really easy for your group to burn that target down. So it's very, very strong. People really hate it. Um, I mean, there's certainly a portion of the community that believe the shotgun should kill in one shot because that's how a shotgun works. But it's certainly from what I've seen, the community is very vocal on the fact that they feel like being one shot by a shotgun at this point is not fun and uh, Century's call in that equation is uh, fairly imbalanced. There's a lot of talk about that. I do think that uh, the community would like to hear a little bit more about the plans around shotguns, particularly the M870, because most other shotguns are pretty okay, to be honest. Next up uh, is the request, the ever-present request for P a PVE DZ. Now, I'm not going to comment on whether or not this is good or bad as a suggestion, but it's a fact that a lot of people, a huge portion of the community, are crying out for a PVE DZ, right? They love the idea of grinding for gear. They love the idea of just being in this big open wasteland exploring, doing stuff, but they hate the PvP in the division. Like they just hate it. So a lot of people would like to see that, you know. Um, now, again, I don't know if this is the solution. I'm not going to comment on this uh, because I know it's a very layered issue with a lot of perspectives, but uh, certainly a huge portion of the, of the community feel this way. And I think it's definitely something that uh, we need to hear more about. Where is the dark zone going to go? Um, and is there going to be something like uh, the, you know, like the dark zone that is a safer place for non-PVPers because the underground certainly is not it. 
Next up in the DZ still, we are talking about Reclaimer. Reclaimer is driving everyone nuts at the moment. Essentially, um, in PvP, if you have a you know someone that's got Reclaimer on and uh, it's you know they're still using explosive bullets in their group, then you can basically perpetually stagger a target. They they literally cannot fight back at that point. They are just constantly uh, essentially stun locked. So that is not fun. Uh, I, I'm fairly sure that everyone agrees that uh, that's not how PvP should be balanced. Uh, and there's a lot of people calling for some kind of action with regards to Reclaimer being changed or more specifically the impact of explosive rounds on PvP and how uh, Reclaimer set enables that. Stepping back more broadly, uh, I think with regards to PvP, a huge number of concerns with relation to how PvP feels in the division right now. Uh, you know, whether it's like the impact of smart cover or shock turret or, you know, the impact of brackets in the dark zone or, you know, balancing health or being able to roll around endlessly or the tactician's authority and how strong it is or all sorts of things. There's just a general need to, to, to basically go through PvP and balance it. Um, and again, the solutions to that, I'm sure, are going to be very complex, very hard to work out, but clearly the community is, is calling for a better, more satisfying and more balanced PvP experience. They're very keen to hear more about that. Next up, out of the dark zone, uh, the end game reward system, namely sort of weighted drops and how time consuming it is to get loot upgrades. So obviously things like Falcon's Lost, uh, no, very few people like Falcon's Lost. I've never said, heard anyone in fact say that they love Falcon's Lost. Everyone just sort of uh, goes through it because they feel like they have to, because it drops the best quality gear in the game at the moment. Uh, underground, it is improved since the directives change and you know, you're know you now able to get old gear sets from directive rewards. But the fact is you still can be spending like, you know, 45 minutes doing an underground run and you may only get two or three items out of that and none of those might actually be useful to you. So the overall um, sort of loot meta, so to speak, um, the end game reward system as it currently exists is uh, is really not uh, is really not working. And, uh, and certainly within that, I suppose, is just the value of gear sets that some gear sets are all Awesome, like Century's Call, for instance, or, you know, Tactician's Authority or Reclaimer. And some of them are really not great at all. And it really just feels like when you get a fire crest or, you know, blinds, that you've really just wasted your last 45 minutes because you know you're just going to be vendoring that item. So I think there's some interventions that are required there around the overall loot meta and the gear sets that sit within that. Another really common complaint that I hear is around people getting kicked due to gear score. So I'm going to um, come in over the top of this one, so to speak, uh, as in and provide a little bit of my own content or perspective on that. And that is to say that uh, the, the gear score system right now is terrible. Like it's just awful. There is no link whatsoever between player power and gear score. It's a very tenuous link indeed. And you have a lot of people who run very solid setups getting kicked because they have lower gear scores. Or you have people that are just trying to gear up who get kicked from groups instantly because of their low gear score when really they would have been able to complete the content just fine because they know what they're doing and they're capable players. So currently the gear, the, the gear score system has almost no benefit associated with it. No one is using it constructively. And really it's just messing up the, uh, the experience of huge numbers of players who are looking to gear up. So I think that uh, there needs to be a conversation around how the gear score system will evolve. This one here, this next one is a bit of editorializing on my own part, and that is the prevalence of the four horsemen farming. Now, everyone agrees that four horsemen farm is very lucrative and very productive, right? So uh, it's like, cool, that works. But is that a good thing? Is it so? Is it a good thing that the best way for us to get loot right now is to go to one boss or four bosses, I suppose, in an incursion and just kill them over and over again and reset the instance? That's really boring. And it's very, very similar to like the, um, the loot cave in Destiny, where we're just basically doing the same activity over and over again because it becomes the most efficient means for us to gear up. So um, that's happening right now. No one is complaining about the lack of, about the loot that's coming from there. No one's calling for that to be changed. Changed, but I do think there is probably um, tacitly or at least subtly there is a call for other experiences in the game to be as rewarding as um, as the as that farm you know why can't we have underground be as rewarding as that why can't we have so many other experiences give us as much loot as that farm is currently giving us uh, so the community isn't calling out for that but I'm certainly inferring that by seeing how just how many people are doing that dragon's nest farm and I think we probably need to have a conversation around how we uh, how we deal with that not calling for a nerf to dragon's nest farm at all by the way that feels like a good amount of loot to be coming I'm saying we need to talk about how we diversify 
the experiences across the game and the loot pools across the game so that that is no longer the single best source of loot. Next one, a small one, but an important one is ammo. Uh, no one likes the ammo system right now. Everyone is complaining about it because it's just not fun. You're constantly running out of ammo in the underground unless you're running with an ammo cache. Uh, in the DZ, you're constantly having to go back to a safe house to just ammo up, which is just not fun. It just doesn't feel good. Uh, it's just not a great system right now. It's not functional and not to mention the Lone Star thing where you literally need to change items every time you go to a, uh, an ammo box just to make sure you can stock up and get the maximum amount of ammo in your reserve. So the ammo system itself is really frustrating players probably need to make some changes there. Finally, I've left one of the biggest ones for last and that is uh, solo player woes. Uh, right now, you know, solo players are just not having a good time. Marco Style did uh, quite a good video on it recently. Actually, if you haven't checked it out, I recommend doing so. But uh, the solo player experience right now is not great. Uh, and it's almost, it's, it is in fact impossible to progress your character to 268 gear score as a solo player. Now, some people think that's intended and it should be that way. It's a group based game, fine. But a lot of other people, and in fact, a, a huge portion of people feel like there should be at least some single player activities that people can do to progress their character by some means when there's no one around to play with, especially given how much the player base has shrunk right now and how many people's friends have stopped playing the game. The need for solo player activities has become more acute than ever. Um, and I think it's a definitely an urgent conversation that uh, we need to have. Anyway, guys, those are the uh, the 10 things that I sort of have observed from my comments and from, from uh, the, you know, from Reddit. I guess the other thing as well at, at a macro level is just around like the, the overall game plan or the, the roadmap for the game in future. You know, a lot of people are asking on Reddit at the moment, like, what is the future of the division? Like, where is it going? Is it going to get better? Question mark, you know? And while we know things like survival are going to come out and last stand, like they're expansions, right? They're new content. We know that. What's going to be really interesting to understand is like answers to these questions that I've just asked here and in a broader sense of like, well, what kind of game do we want the division to be in future? Is it going to be really PvP focused or is that just a bit of a nice to have and we're not really going to do that much? Or is it going to be a game that's a looter and we're going to get tons of loot all the time? Or is it going to be closer to say World of Warcraft or Destiny where we get less loot, but that loot is always more useful to us? So there's all those sorts of questions that I think we probably need to sort of start talking about and get answers to because having that roadmap in front of us is going to make it really a lot easier for us to be willing to commit ourselves to this game because uh, yeah, right now a lot of people are feeling quite burnt out and uh, and they're wondering, you know, whether or not it's worth sticking, sticking it out, you know, and, and, uh, and, and seeing it through. And I think that kind of view of the future would be really helpful. Anyway, guys, that is just uh, my perspective on what I have read from my comments and Reddit. As I said, not speaking for the community. The community has its own voice and voices. Uh, this is just uh, what I've seen. If you found it useful, then uh, yeah, please like the video, subscribe, obviously, but also share it, you know, like share it on, um, you know, forums, share it on your clan forum, share it on uh, Twitter. Like, let's get the word out there that these are the sort of things that um, are sort of really top of mind, the things that we want to have a conversation about because I think that if we're able to have that conversation with Massive and have that dialogue, I think it's a really good thing. And uh, we're going to have the kind of community that we want and we're going to have the kind of relationship with Massive that we really need to ensure this game is uh, successful long into the future. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for listening. I hope you found it useful. Take good care and I will see you in the duck soon. Bye-bye.